Amber Heard will fight Johnny Depp until the end, he promised to humiliate me and ruin me. Amber Heard, Johnny Depp's ex-wife, who lost a high-profile defamation case earlier this month, insisted that she told the truth in her testimony and that social media may have influenced the jury's decision. A seven-member jury concluded that her defamed Depp and that he was entitled to $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages in the dual defamation trial between the actress and the Pirates of the Caribbean. Depp was given a total of $10.35 million. Punitive damages in Virginia are limited at $350,000. To my dying day, I'll stand by every word of my testimony, Heard said in an interview with NBC's Savannah Guthrie. I made a lot of mistakes, but I've always told the truth. His lawyer did a better job at distracting the jury from the real issues. This is the most humiliating and horrible thing I've ever been through. I did do and say horrible regrettable things throughout my relationship. I behaved in horrible, almost unrecognizable to myself ways. I have so much regret. Gotthard also claimed that authoring the op-ed was an exercise of her First Amendment right. It's the freedom to speak truth to power. And that's all I spoke. She said that they clashed and disparaged one other in recordings and texts. Her tells Depp in recorded talks that she didn't punch him, but rather was hitting him and that he has to grow the F up. Depp was described by witnesses as a dominating spouse who was addicted to drugs and alcohol. As I testified on the stand about this, is that when your life is at risk, not only will you take the blame for things you shouldn't take the blame for, but when you're in an abusive dynamic, psychologically, emotionally and physically, you don't have or the luxury of saying, hey, this is black and white, because it's anything but when you're living in it, Hurt stated when pressed by Guthrie about her admissions in the tape. Hurt went on to add that her relationship with Depp was both beautiful and very toxic. I will always continue to feel like I was a part of this. Like I was the other half of this relationship, because I was, and it was ugly, and could be very beautiful, she admitted it was very, very toxic. We were awful to each other. I made a lot of mistakes. But I've always told the truth. Dot Bethany Frankel, Amber Heard is the craziest woman that has walked this planet. Bethany Frankel has launched a stinging attack on Amber Heard amid the ongoing defamation trial against ex-husband Johnny Depp. The 51-year-old former Real Housewives of New York City star took to her Just Be With Bethany Frankel podcast to give her thoughts on the trial. Johnny Depp looks like a hero only in a relationship with Amber Heard, said Frankel. Johnny Depp is going to be effing anointed Gandhi and the Pope because he was in a relationship with the craziest woman that has walked this planet. I'm sure Queen Elizabeth is calling him being like, come here, I want to give you a knighthood because you're now the hero in this crazy villain story. Bethany Frankel criticized Johnny Depp too. The businesswoman and philanthropist went on to strongly criticize Johnny Depp. Here he looks like a hero because it's Amber Heard who he is being compared to, she said, put me next to Shrek. I'll be co-hosting the Met, Gala, next year within a winter. What stage is the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial at? The trial has been going on since April 11, over a 2018 Washington Post op-ed in which Heard described herself as a victim of domestic violence. Although she did not mention Depp by name, the 58-year-old has alleged in court that this piece tarnished his reputation and career. The court case has featured a number of shocking allegations about the pair's tumultuous marriage, which lasted from 2015 to 2017. For example, Depp claimed that Heard once defecated on his bed and severed his finger, while Heard has claimed that he sexually assaulted her with a liquor bottle. Both parties have denied those claims. The end date for the trial is scheduled May 27, although it could go on for longer, before the verdict is finally given.